की कीबोर्ड राइट सो गाइज इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ की बोर्ड राइट दिस इज अ स्पेशल की बोर्ड विच हैज ओनली टू बटन इट हैज टू बटन फर्स्ट बटन इज अ कॉपी बटन एंड अनदर बटन इज अ पेस्ट बटन सो आई नो ऑल ऑफ अस आर नो वट इज अ कॉपी एंड वट इज अ पेस्ट सो बट द कॉपी बटन हैज अ स्पेशल फीचर इट कैन कॉपी लाइक इट कैन कॉपी ऑल द a clipboard only right it can't partially copy what i mean to say is let's say we have we have this text so once we press when we press this button then we need to we need to completely copy this text right we can't uh, partially copy uh, only this two or only this three right we need to completely uh, copy this this complete text right so uh, this is this is i think we must know okay so what we have in this question we have a number let's say n right uh let's say n equal to 2 and one more thing is given one more thing is given we have a single single a present uh, in our uh, clipboard okay so what we need to do is if n is equals to 2 then we need to create 2a we need to create 2a using this keyboard using this keyboard with minimum minimum uh, uh with minimum presses right we need to press our button as minimum as possible right okay so for n equal to 2 we will first press our copy button so it will copy this and then we will press this paste button so we will paste this so what we had done we had done one copy and one paste so answer for this case should be 2 okay so uh, let's say our n was 3 so if our n was 3 then uh, we need to create pattern like this three a's right so for pattern like this what we will do first we will copy this a then we will paste this we copy this we will paste this and we will again paste this so okay so this is the same pattern as it is right so for this case it should be 3 okay so what if what if n is equals to 4 okay so if n is equals to 4 then we need to create pattern like this 4a 4 consecutive a right so for pattern like this what we will do first we will copy this then we will paste this so copy paste then we will again paste again paste Again paste, again paste. So, okay. One more way. One, there is one more way by which we can create this pattern. The another way, the another way could be like this. See, we will first, we will first copy this and then paste, right? Copy and then paste. Then again copy the whole clipboard. Again copy the whole clipboard and then paste. And then paste. So, uh, okay. So both the cases in both the cases we had we had used we had pressed our buttons four times. So answer for this is four. Okay. So, so let us take one more example. Few more example. In fact, mm, let's say let's say our n is now eight. Our n is now eight. So let me first erase this. so if our n is 8 if our n is 8 then we need to create a pattern like this eight consecutive eights so how we will do this how we will do this one way one way to do this can be see can be this we will copy this and then we will paste 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 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and one more paste right so these are my pattern right so what we did what we did was we copied our clipboard then paste 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 so for for this for this we had pressed our keyboard button eight times right but is there any other other way by which we can press our keyboard button less time so see there is actually a way 
what is that way see what we could do is see if we copy this and then we will paste this so if we copy this and then paste this then co copy again the whole clipboard copy again the clip hold the clipboard and then paste copy and then paste then copy again hold clipboard and then paste copy and then paste so one two three four okay so this is same as this so but but in this case we had used our keyboard buttons one two three four five six times right so obviously guys obviously we will we will choose uh, six as our answer because here we are pressing our keyboard button less times right so this should be our answer and this should be not okay now take uh, one more example First, let me erase this okay so now let's say let's say our n is 16 so if our n is 16 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we need to uh, make this giant pattern from this simple a right so how we will do one way one way can be we will copy this and then paste 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 15 times we will paste right so for this case we are pressing our keyboard button 16 times 15 times paste one time copy right so we can make this right but there is one more way there is one more way in fact there are more than two or one way but I am showing you the most efficient way so one way to, to create this pattern can be we will copy this and then paste then copy the whole and then paste then copy again the whole clipboard and then paste this is our CP then copy our whole clipboard and then paste Now this is 16A and this is also 16A. So but but in this case, in this case we had pressed our keyboard buttons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times only, right? 8 times only. So obviously guys we will choose this as our answer and this is not our answer, right? So one thing I think is now clear to you. What we are trying to do is to make our answer more correct what we are trying we are trying as many we are trying to use as many as cp patterns that is copy paste pattern uh, patterns and we are trying to use as low as our only paste methods right so this is this is what we need to keep in our mind while we are constructing our pattern with minimum presses of our button right so somehow somehow we need to increase this cp right uh, this copy paste copy paste copy paste and somehow we need to decrease this only paste uh, presses right so this is this is this is what we need to uh, think uh, this is what we need to like keep in our mind while constructing the pattern right okay now take one more example again okay let's say this time our n is 7 right this time our n is 7 so what we need to create we need to create a pattern like this right and and what we have we have a single a okay okay so now see if we if we copy this if we copy this and paste this right if we copy this and paste this so how many more okay so how many more how many more a do i have one two uh, i mean how many more a do we need one two three four five so five more a we need so see what we had done already we had done one cp that is one copy and then a paste let now let's see if we if we again copy our clipboard that 
that is if we again copy this text then we need to we need to uh, uh, like paste it like this right in pairs but hey if we copy this and if we trying to paste it like this there will always be a extra a left which we do not want which we do not want and this is this is the actually uh, the main main point of our uh, problem right uh, like we need to we need to somehow we need to somehow manage our cp in such a way that we we can only create exactly this number of patterns right for this case we are creating eight uh eight a right so we need to somehow exclude this thing okay so so see we were having five five uh, empty space left with us so if we copy a string we want to create this string right so if we copy uh, our clipboard so the minimum length of our string is this so we can't create this string this string from this string right because this is a odd length string and this is an even length string we can't create this so we need to keep in our mind while uh, copying our clipboard that is is in future we will be able to fulfill this condition right we we always need to ignore this condition right so this is the only thing we need to keep our mind while we are maximizing our cps and uh, minimizing our p's right so this is the only thing that i think uh, we all must need to keep in our mind right now now let me show you the code of this problem uh, we will going to dry run our algorithm uh, our code uh, on our test case right so you will understand uh, algorithm using the case uh, using the code right so now see uh, this is our number right this is current current means how many current uh, a's do we have with us this is count uh, nothing but our answer how many how many times uh, we pressed our keyboard buttons uh, this is a buffer i will tell you what is this right and this is this is a copy paste condition and this is only paste condition right okay now let me let me go through the code uh, using a test case so let's say n is 7 n is 7 so and what we have we have a single a okay so what we need to uh, at the end what we need to create we need to create pattern like this right and what we initially have we initially have a single a so currently how many how many a do we have we have only one a right and our answer this count initially is zero we haven't pressed any single button right and our buffer is also zero i will tell you what is this so while our current is less than n will uh, uh, will remain in this while loop right so our current is one so it is less than seven right so how many how many a's do we have one two three four five six so we will calculate it like this so our rest is uh, 7 minus 1 current that is our total minus current so it is 6 so uh, 6a we have we 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 want 6a we want so see this is the thing this is the condition this is the, is the condition which will help us to to check do we do we can we copy our clipboard or not right this is the condition which will help us to overcome to overcome this situation to overcome this situation this situation should not happen right so to overcome this situation we are writing this if statement now see now see how how this statement will help us so our current our current is one and a rest a rest is six so 6 modulo 1 is 0 right 6 modulo 1 is 0 that means that means if we copy this then we can paste it 6 times 
and we will not come out of our uh, string, right? We will not uh, left with some extra A's, right? So this is what we are checking here. This is what we are checking here, right? So if this condition is satisfied, then only we will copy our text. Otherwise, we will just simply paste it, right? So this is this is it. This is it. This is why we are using this statement. Okay. So sorry. So earlier A was there. A A A. Fine. Now our buffer is uh, our buffer is this. So what we are storing in our buffer, we are storing just nothing but the previous previous value of our current. So initially, let's say initially let's say our current one two three four five six. Our current was one. That is how many a do we have? We have one a. So what we will store in our buffer? We will store one. Now here we are storing one here one in our buffer. So we will store one one and now. We will increment our current by buffer. So our buffer is 1. So we will increment it by 1. So it is 2. Now why 2? We will copy this and then paste this. So now how many A do we have? We have now 2 A's. So this is our current and this is our buffer. Buffer was how many A's do we had copied and current is how many A's do we have right now, right? Current A's. And why we are incrementing our answer or count by 2 because we are using two, we are pressing two buttons here. We are pressing copy and paste both buttons together. I mean first copy and then paste. I mean both buttons are uh, like in one flow, in one go, right? And if we can't satisfy this, if we can't satisfy this, then we will simply uh, press this uh, sing, uh, single uh, paste button, right? And we will increment our current by this buffer and increment our counter by one, right? This is what we will do until until we reach till the end uh, end uh, end a, and at the end we will return this count. This count is nothing but our final answer, right? So this is the code, and this is how the algorithm of this question will work, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.